Hello everyone, it's Colby. Nice to see all y'all again. Hope you're having a fabulous Monday and had a great weekend. Um, this week we're going to talk about the ugly green monster. Jealousy. I had a lot of tweets come in whenever I tweeted you guys a week or two ago asking what you guys would want to hear about. And a lot of you guys said jealousy, so I was like, alright, let's do it. So, here we are. Um, I'll start off with the verse because it's pretty much says everything we need to really realize about the topic. It's first first Corinthians 3:3. 3, 3. For you are still controlled by your sinful nature. You are jealous of one another and quarrel with each other. Doesn't that prove that you are controlled by your sinful nature? Aren't you living like the people of the world? Well, shoot, he got us there, but Hit the nail on the head, ding ding. Um, we're supposed to be different, and we're supposed to not be like other people, the people who are non-believers. We're not supposed to be like them. We're supposed to set, be set aside, and for people to look at us and say, "Wow, there's something different about them." And one thing that we all deal with, which stinks because it's not pretty, is jealousy getting this ugly green tone and it ain't cute green is not a very good color on some well on all of us if it's the jealousy type of green it's ugly but I just think that that's something we all do I've done it before I've wanted something that uh, my friend had or somebody on tv had and I'm like well why can't I have that and I'll get upset and I'm just like Colby take a step back Look at the blessings that you do have and focus on that. Don't focus on what you don't have. Focus on what you do because that's going to make you happier. If you're always focusing on what other people have and that you want that and want that and want that, you're never going to be happy because you're always going to want more and more and more and more and more. And the Lord's going to be like, um, honey, look at what you have and look at your blessings and realize that. Don't envy other people because it's not cute, okay? If I, I've been doing pretty well. I've been doing well. I'm going to pat myself on the back because the Lord, thanks to Him, has helped me kind of step, take a step back from that whole issue and not be jealous and just be like, you know what? I am so blessed. I need to focus on the blessings that I do have. But then I'll see people who it's just so obvious. They have green flowing in their veins. And I'm like, gosh, thank you, Lord, for helping me not be like that. Because it's not it's not pretty. It kind of oozes out. And, ugh, it's yucky. It's like, a, it's like a big old scab and then it just oozes green and stuff, whatever. But just try to count your blessings and don't focus on what you want and whatever and don't try to convince yourself that what you want is what you need because there is a fine line between what you need and what you just want because either somebody else has it or somebody you know somebody you see on tv so you know like don't do that want the great things that the lord's given you focus on that don't focus on what you don't have and don't be one of those mean jealous people who let's say your friend gets something you don't want to be the person they can't go to and be and be happy about it because they're like oh i don't want her to get upset because she doesn't have that uh-uh i'm blessed to have friends who if i buy a new shirt I can be like, look what I got, and they'll be happy for me. And if they get a new shirt or a new pair of shoes or new something, they can come to me and be like, look, and I'll be like, yeah, that is awesome. They don't have to be afraid. And I love that. I love that. And I want people to be able to feel that way when they come to me, and I want to be able to feel that way when I go to them. So be the person that people can be like, hey, look, and you can be happy for them. You won't be jealous because it's just, it is ugly.